ACI 1948 here. We're going to try something a little different. This is Reddit safety first. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the R means. Reddit OSHA? I'm new to Reddit. I've been on it a little bit. I've kind of looked around. And I will preface this with I'm fairly dyslexic. So getting letters, words, they're going to get mixed up. I'm not the greatest reader in the world. So we're going to see how this goes. If you guys like it, we'll do some more. Safety last. Oh, he's holding a brick. <laughs> yeah, that thing goes through. You're going to have a bad day. Is this right? I mean, it is dispersing the water. Is that an electrical box? Is that what I'm looking at? <laughs> Probably not the thing you want water spraying straight at. Total cocking nightmare. The ladder in the bed of the truck. I don't know. I don't think that's so bad. Because, I mean, if that's based up against there, it's only going to go so far. Eh, I'm okay with that one. It's like, oh, she already showed up at Kroger. Too many accidents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Need to work on that. Is that a plastic uh, container for your the edge of your ladder? Replacing a wheel? Ooh, that's a little wobbly. I don't think it'd fall over, but still. Eh, may want to get that fixed, guys. Someone needs to tag it out. Don't worry, boss. The trailer's secured. What are we looking at? I'm trying to see what we're looking. Is it high centered on something? I can't tell. What are your thoughts? Comes uh, around, feel better about it. Doesn't fork loose with a head the back. I guess they're just uh, smart enough to know it was a tipping hazard. Oh, it's because you got so much. I guess that's a lot of weight there over the front of the. Okay. Well, maybe we're trying to swap out trucks underneath it or something. Sketchy paint job. VF Changs. You guys standing on top of the ladder with one foot hanging off. Yeah, not really supposed to be on top of the ladder. Could possibly go wrong. Guy on top of a roof doing a job. I'd... It's a pretty steep roof, though. Eh. Every day it's something else. Down here in a trench. Not sure what what exactly we're digging Is that for power cable who needs harnesses or ladders anyway window cleaning and is he just out on the ledge <laughs> Yeah, just walk out on the, the ledge of your house and clean your windows. Yeah, they had a counterweight on the back. <laughs> I don't think he was going to make that much of a difference on there. <laughs> if that wanted to go over, it would have. Bosh. I almost need to get closer to the screen. What is he on? Is that a lift of some sort? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I see it. It's like a, a walkie stacker lift he's just standing on. So I guess they just put that beam up or something. too much 
much reading for me. <laughs> and everyone working within these guys came to move a power pole across the room. Stand on top of the ladder again. I mean, honestly, that type of ladder I think you'd be okay with. It's still got a little bit of. It's not the highest, highest point of it. And these indeed. Footman over. Put the certification there. $20 for an online forklift course. I mean, it's going to get you the basics on how to control it and stuff, but you really need an hour. <laughs> you really need some hands-on training before you can get certified on that. Found this beauty. I do know I am licensed on a forklift. But, uh, Found this beauty in the back of my English class. Apparently, IT set it up. Yes, they're on. <laughs> I think that our school, one of the labs, was kind of done up like that. For you know, if you're using the existing room that didn't have uh, power running through the walls, it'll work. Let this skid fall on me at Menards. Yeah, it's like a, I can't remember, it was a five or ten thousand dollar fine. They walk in and find one of those up on the on its side. Gotta be real careful. Roofers in my complex this afternoon. Well, I just wanted to lift up to the job site, get a ride. dangerous however it does look super fun they all had to sell their ladders to buy the green truck <laughs> roofers are crazy thought this was a drummer text means emergency stop not off Oh, <laughs> you just cut the wires. <laughs> I guess they'll bring it to a stop if you lose all the power. <laughs> we still doing the cursed angle grinder blades. <laughs> yeah. I want to see them turn that on. They need to like lock it in a vice and turn it on. counter way down the back. Yeah, I've seen that one. School in Mexico. Everybody's just climbing the, I guess, emergency exit? Or is that how they're going into the school? Oh, I guess so. It's just an outdoor way to go in. Right, we saw that one. Work safe every day, all day. Someone's sitting at an office chair set up in the back of the track. <laughs> an office with a view. Found this on Facebook. Man swimming in chemical burns. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get in concrete. That's not good for you. Ooh. Hope they're paying you well for that one. Now we're getting repeats on repeats. Safe normal to have crew leave their lifty thing raised full of debris over in the height and they just be paranoid. Yeah, no. I mean, if they got their tools in it and stuff, I could see them doing something like that. I know at some job sites, if they got a crane, they'll take their job box and lift it up in it with all their tools and everything. So it's a little harder to steal. But... Yeah, I think just take your tools home with you at the end of the day. Might be the better way to do it. 
Hey, eight-year-old, keep that countertop from sliding out the back. <laughs> I have kind of rode in the back of trucks and done that before. <laughs> just hold on to it, don't let it fall out. We're just moving it over there. Uh, now, more, more repeats. Farm fab things. Yes, it's a 120 volt rated extension cord with a homemade 240 20 amp adapter running a bench grinder. Whatever gets the job done. <laughs> OSHA class, we talked about. This is in an OSHA class where we talked about cables on the floor. <laughs> it happens. This okay. Ah, uh, are are these all about the same height, or and you is this laying across, or is that trying to go up? Is it okay? Stick around. It seemed to work well. I mean, that's a pretty good, there's not a whole lot of meat there, but that's a pretty good jump to get up from there to there, but you could do it. I'm going to be more worried about, about coming down than going up. <laughs> Big first step. He had his hard hat on. Yeah, that's, that's going to help you a lot when you fall off that pallet. Step ladder. Not a three wheel, pretty low. Not a sloping road, vehicle gear. Vehicles on gear, setting up fairly little. Fairy lights for the temple festival. really see too much wrong with that. I mean, yeah, it's a three-wheeled thing, but eh. I think you'd be okay. Oh, are we running out? Was this a short thread? No company name, so I guess no safety violation here. Sitting in the back. Well, it's a standard cab truck. If you got four guys, three guys, you don't want to crowd, uh, crowd up a, a cab. And in some states, it is legal to sit in the bed of a truck. Not sure if it's OSHA approved, but... Call OSHA not needed here. Put a ladder on the scaffolding. Just needed a little bit more reach. Three to six inches, not thirty-six inches. <laughs> Emergency stop. I do like that one. How many OSHA violations can you violations can you spot in this painting? Is that a train? On top of the building? Is that. Or, I'm not totally sure. Well, I wonder if there's a thread for those. I want to see more of those. <laughs> Fine, do not look above the black tarp. This is completely safe and normal. <laughs> Must have a either debris falling in or a water leak. Water leak, because you got caution cone. But then again, it could be debris falling. 
They might be up in the ceiling too, throwing things down. I don't know. Yeah, chemical burns are alright. I just need to start looking at the pictures more than. Ladders are for losers. Get a wheelbarrow. See here, just a bag of battery acid chilling on a pallet. Steel toes wouldn't help much. It's about getting down on my feet and legs. Ooh, yeah. That's that. Yeah, I've moved some of those around before. They, they got a little bit of weight behind them. Steel toe. Just about came down my feet. And, yeah, the, the steel toe will help if you hit it like dead on your toe, but coming any further back than that, it won't do much, you know. Let's get past something. Safety being in his arms. Painting. Yeah, he's out there painting. So many violations here. He's on in Atlanta. Yes, the generator was running. Generator was running. Was there? I don't see the generator, but okay. Looks mostly like a messy work truck more than anything to me. Guy standing on top of the wall hitches away from 70 mile an hour traffic. Thanks, safety. Sometimes it's just a dangerous job. You gotta sometimes the only way to get the job done you gotta do something stupid. Not sure. Hotel. Oh, are they using the little storage set as part of the hotel? I'm not understanding it. How long do you think it'll hold? Oh, the corner of it's all buckled in. Probably longer than you think. Somebody hooked it with the lift. That's that's what I'm going to say happened there. Because it looks like, yeah, they're putting the pallets in this way. So, definitely needs repaired, but uh, it'll probably hold up longer than you think it will. Just to say our driver was fired today. <laughs> Well, is it totally the driver's fault? Uh, let's see. Big box, big box, big box. Now, that was probably fairly wrapped all right. It's not like they had a bunch of tiny little boxes at the bottom. So, whoopsie, good job, right, great. Bad job, forklift driver. Well, at least the, at least that, uh, like they say, the grate held it. And you just got to get up there and down stack it by hand. Hooray. Am I doing this right? Is that a thermometer or a thermostat? Yeah, okay. It's supposed to be part of a wall. Looks like you just cut out a chunk of wall and left the, uh, the thermostat and some wires running through it, through the uh, where it was. Ali, is that some kind of coffee? Well, I want to zoom in for a minute just so I can see. Oh. He's got a drill running the running the late. I mean, I guess all you really need is a motor. He's just got to spin. Uh, 
I'll get your hard hat and gloves. It might just save your life. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a harness around me than a hard hat and gloves. <laughs> Never let me go. <laughs> Why would you be at the point where you have to bring it up like that? I mean, there's got to be a better way to this roof you got up here. Bed in the arm, don't worry. Jumped jumped into the bed at high speeds, check the stability. I mean, at least it's sitting that way on all the it's gonna have a lot of support there, but don't wanna rock the bed too much. Don't forget to check the mini gate for That's a big one. Still not entirely sure sure what a mill gate is for wildlife covering the material. Dead wires, cast iron, water valve. Now if you replace it, you have to cut them out. <laughs> Just keep doing this. Am I the only one who unlocks the door? I see this at work a lot. We have a back valley that just always got filled up. It's gotten kind of better, but there's still times where pallets are sitting back there. It's like if there's a fire, you have a loading bay and one door out to flat ground, and then you have that fire exit. And all the other bay doors are locked. That's the only way out. So if there's a fire back there, you're kind of out of luck. You can't get past those pallets. Nothing like working with power. Nothing like working with power lines while sitting in a big metal scoop. Don't worry, it's secured by straps. <laughs> you want a little two by four. Approved scaffolding. <laughs> so, did he put like anchors or um, braces in the wall or something to attach that to? I'm not totally sure here. Better than duct tape. The straps are holding it up. <gasps> I guess those are straps. Toss some corner protectors for the straps. Yeah, yeah, that's straps, okay. Let's see if you Alright, we'll look at one more. And I'm gonna call this a video and we'll see how it turns out, see if there's any interest in the video. Changed our ladder Change our ladder warning so that we could climb higher. <laughs> Do stand above this level. You can balance. <laughs> what's what's the other bit say? Oh, he, yeah, I was in in Spanish. <laughs> Do stand above this ladder, <laughs> this level. All right, that's gonna do it for this video on Reddit OSHA. I have a feeling I'm going to do some more of this stuff. This is pretty funny. Uh, might help me get a little better at reading, too, because I just... <laughs> I can read it, but I just can't get it out of my mouth well. So, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more if you like this sort of content. That is not what I wanted to do.